Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 14. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 1, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to talk about exponents. We're on the exponent sheet. Exponents is just a quick way to do multiplying. So if you're multiplying four twos, you could go this times this times this times this. Or, of course, as we saw last video, you could use the product function and get those four, four, four twos and multiply them together to get 16. Ah, but later in our finance chapters, we're going to have to use lots of exponents. Finance lots of links to use exponents. So we got to talk about exponents. There's a word for the two, and there's a word for how many times it's repeated. So the question is, what is the number we are multiplying? Well, for us, it's two. So I'm going to put a two here. This is called the base. And then how many times did we have to multiply it? We multiplied it four times. This is called the exponent. So in on the board or in a math textbook, you'd see 2 raised to the fourth, right? So it's a little teeny 4 raised up. That means the 4 means take the big thing, repeat it four times, and put a multiplication symbol between it. So the if we run into this situation, we can simply take the base and there's no such thing as this in a formula. We have to use a caret, which is shift 6. And that is 2 raised to the fourth power, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. Now, one other thing. Sometimes you want to show this. And there's this gets pretty tricky. Watch this. I'm going to try it. I'm going to type 2, 4. And notice that's a number, 24. But you're allowed to format things as an exponent. So let's just highlight this 4. Now. If I were to control 1 and have the cell selected, it would open up the entire format cells dialog box. But right now, because I'm in edit mode when I control 1, or I click on this up here, control 1, it opens up just one tab of the format cells dialog box font. But that's just fine. We have superscript. That is an exponent um, formatting. So I'm going to click OK. So you can see that it works, but watch this. This is terrible. I remember when I first tried this, I was like, what? It's not working. The reason why is because uh, numbers are governed by number formatting. We're not going to be able to apply actual font formatting. So the trick is you have to put an apostrophe. And this trick works for any number. Um, whenever you have a number and you want it to show as text, you put an apostrophe. Now were allowed to take this, control 1, and go to superscript, and then click OK, Enter. And so there we have it. All right, exponents, you, you don't ever need to do that. But we will have to learn how to use that caret, uh, especially in our finance chapter. Those will be fun chapters. We'll get to figure out uh, you know, for future values of savings accounts and things like that. All right, one last video. Our next video will be uh, application and word problems in a Promise we'll have a trick uh, to make those kind of problems easier than they seem. All right, see you next video.